Caller, you're next on Patriots Lament. Who's this? This is Charles. Good morning, Charles. Charles, got you got it. a poem for us today? Uh, a poem. I've got a Emerson uh, on self-reliance, on Dennis. property. He says, and so, reliance on private property and uh, the government which protects it is not self-reliance at all. And if the things you have you got or got by ill-gotten means, you despise them even more. Uh, this just for reading and philosophy today. Appreciate that. All right, thanks. Thank you very much. 458-TALK is the number. Good morning. This is Patriots Lament. You're on the air. This is Mark. It might be. Who is this? What's your name? This is Mark. Mark, good morning. Yeah, good morning, gentlemen. Uh, you know, the jury box brought to mind the four boxes of government, if I may. Uh, you know, we have the... Uh, Got nervous on you. Sorry. Uh, the jury box and the ballot box and cartridge box is the fourth one. All right. <laughs> Don't forget your box of beans. Yeah. Um, we need to elect men. You, you guys sound good on the radio, and I enjoy hearing and listening to you on Saturday. And almost ashamed to get on the air with you, you know. Like I heard the other morning, Steve, on your morning show, you're talking about the Pilgrims landing, and the way that article was written, it sounded like the Pilgrims couldn't wait to get off the boat and ran up on shore. That's the farthest thing from the truth, sir. And them boys were held held to offshore for at least eight days, if I remember right, and forced by the intelligentsia and academia to sign our first organic document, Mayflower Compact. Now I, I was I was what I read was a was an actual quote from the what, the uh, the preacher that they had on board and when they basically so when you're saying that they they couldn't wait to get off the boat that's what he was saying that yeah, I understood. he he couldn't wait to get off the boat yeah. I, I think it was a long but journey when the winds blew them off course and they landed north of their charter they realized that, hey we have got land here that even the great mighty king of England doesn't know about that must make us free men and. With one third of the labor force on board that was going to do all the work for the other two third worthless eaters, uh, the worthless eaters had to come up with some kind of a scam contract deal. You know, you, you just reminded me of something. You know, so many people look back at the the, the building across the road. No, there? no, no, no. Oh. They, they, they look back at the failure, <laughs> the failure there at Plymouth in terms of what happened in that uh, that first really really bad winter, and so many people dying, and they and they attribute it to weather, and they attribute it to everything except what it really was. It, 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 it was. What ended up happening was that in that first contract, they basically made a commune. They made it so that everybody would share everything equally. And, well, that, and that means you go out and you work the fields, and we all benefit equally. We all share the proceeds. And what happened is that some people just didn't really feel like working quite as hard, and there wasn't enough food, even from all of those who worked as hard as they could, to feed everybody. And a lot of people starved to death. Yeah, don't well, don't worry about reading Marx. Just read the Mayfark. Yeah, back. exactly. It's really starting to sound like you guys don't believe in democracy. You have a problem with democracy, nah, Chuck? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, if it hadn't been for the hand of God, and that compact started off in the name of God, amen, we the undersigned. Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, if it hadn't been for the hand of God just prior to them boys coming across, they would have been uh, vegetable soup for the Abenaki Indians uh, because Samoset and Squano had been carried off into captivity a few years later and managed to survive, come home, find out the French left the disease, wiped out his village. He moved next door with his buddies. That increased their hunting grounds and left a vacant ground for the pilgrims to land by the grace of God. Amen. Stein, stop, stop reading. Thanks for the call. 458 dog no, is it's the it's number. A, it's a good point that uh, all men are fallible. Yeah. I mean, those people were men. There's men now. Aaron and I, Dave, Steve, we're just men, people. And I guess the best thing, the lesson from it is that uh, there is no one person, one group that's going to go in and save you because they're all fallible. Well, in, in a sense, you have to you have to be willing to stand for what you believe. You have to be willing to stand up and uh, and protect the rights of those around you. And and if you don't believe that your neighbor has the right to do what your neighbor is doing, if your first recourse is to go and tell on them, to go to go calling the police, to go calling the borough and saying, 
I, my neighbor, and he's over there, he's got his music too loud. If, if that's your first recourse, then how are you any different from my three-year-old or, or my six-year-old who comes running to me? Daddy, daddy, and he's touching me. I don't agree with you guys that people can be infallible, though. And he didn't say infallible. He said we're all fallible. No, I'm, that's what I'm saying. There's, there are infallible people. Look at how many Republicans. Oh, no, okay. Right all right. We bring in the party of God again. Uh, you know, gentlemen, as, as, as we look at where our country is headed right now and what's happening on a micro level here in the Fairbanks community, in the borough, uh, do you really, I mean, do you see, I mean, you, the two of you are running for public office. Do you really see hope? For our community, in terms of uh, reversing the trend, or, or are you are you thinking that somehow we're going to weather the coming storm? I don't think. Well, that's I I can't speak for Josh, but the issue for me isn't um, whether it can be fixed. I want to get in there and be at least the, the one person that always stands up for everybody's rights, regardless of anything that anybody else says. Yeah, whether uh, yeah, I have a little bit of hope. People call the show. And just like Mark did, Charles does, and those guys are not alone, actually. There's people out there that really believe in liberty. And the more we talk about it, the more people will hear it. I mean, I get emails every once in a while and texts or people calling and say, wow, I just heard the show for the first time. That's never heard anything like that before. Good job. Way to go. Keep that up. People want to be free. What? Uh, we had a great example the other day. The guy that... Uh, I don't remember his name. Is it Palamas? Yeah, I, th- I believe he works for the IRS. Oh, no, and, that's a different guy, but yeah. Okay. Sorry, Mr. Palamas. Okay, this guy works for the IRS. Everything I've ever heard him advocate for, he's running for office, I do not agree with. I mean, every single stinking thing. Like banning heard. cell phones. and Banning stuff. cell phones. He wants to get rid of cars, stuff like that. That's fine. <laughs> that's good for him. But he actually came and talked to us at the forum the other day, and he said, wow, he said, I really like hearing people talk about liberty. That is great. Boom, bingo, score. I would have never dreamed it in a million years to hear that from that guy. I mean, that's that's fantastic. That's what that's the point here. We want people to think about liberty, being free. There's nothing wrong with it. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. I mean, instead, what we mostly heard was uh, raising taxes. Oh, okay, not raising taxes, but who's paying their fair share? Would you tax this person? Would you tax that person? Would you change the law so that these people are paying more of the share? Would you force these people over here to pay their tax? Would you force these people? That was the theme over and over Every and over and over and over. Every single person that I know, their favorite tax, Josh, is the one that they don't have to pay. Yeah. And, I mean, uh, and that that's human nature. And and if somebody else will fit will foot the bill for us, then why, in fact, not? How about yeah. lower the bill? Yeah, there you go. That's what? why not right there. You lower see, the bill. That should be all of our look things. At, look at what happened here in the state of Alaska when we came into all that oil wealth. The, the rate of spending at every level in the state, you're looking at the state, you're looking at the boroughs, you're looking at the cities, all of a sudden the rate of spending went through the roof. A lot of it had to do with labor contracts because they felt that they had to pay the people that they were they, they were keeping on 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 staff, they had to pay them more so that they wouldn't run off their jobs and go work for the oil companies. All right, so they had to offer them more money. In order to get that more money, what they did is they imposed this massive tax on the oil industry that was developing our wealth and basically distributed it to the people. Okay, great. All of a sudden, the spending went through the roof at all these different levels, and nobody noticed that that spending went up because none of us were paying for it. Yep. Well, we are paying for it here locally, and all we, we do is we're not all. We look at the solution of getting someone else to pay more instead of making them spend less. I mean, I think Dave has a better handle on the numbers, but when it comes down to services and what the borough does for us that we ask them to do with the libraries and the road maintenance or whatever, the uh, road districts or building libraries, uh, garbage collection, dog or uh, animal control and stuff like that. There's a big lump of money after all that's taken care of that's still sitting there. And what what happens with that money? What I'd like to see it is that's distributed. It gets distributed <laughs> to yeah. different folks. So they take from one sector. That was the whole point with the question of would you violate anyone's liberty at any time to help to uh, 
give to someone else, basically. So they're going to take from individual A and give it to, well, their crony buddies, individual B. But they had to take it from someone before they had it because the borough, ne- it could never create its own wealth. It can't. No wealth government can, can create wealth. Exactly. Well, if I get on the borough, I'm going to advocate for giving everything to Dave. <laughs> you got to vote. And he doesn't vote. Now yep. he's going to vote for you. No. Nope. 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 Still not going to vote for him. Dang it. So he, okay, and that's as clear as the waters of Bristol. Thank you for that. Spend less. Let's <laughs> spend less money. <laughs> Four five eight talk is the number. Good morning, caller. Who's this? Yeah, you know, Frank again. I just wonder. You know, I don't mind throwing up some bucks in and passing the hat to expand this show for a couple of hours. <laughs> I'm serious. How about uh, ten to twelve? Uh, you know, uh, we've talked. Steve, I'm serious. We, we've we've talked about the possibility of that, Frank. I, why don't you uh, give uh, Josh a call after the show? Sounds good. All right, and uh, that way you guys can uh, you, you see if we can work something out. One of the biggest issues is always money. Yeah. Uh, and that, I mean that is the the biggest thing. And at 11 o'clock we do have another show that's already paid for. Mm-hmm. So we'd, what we'd have to do is we'd have to go earlier. We'd have to start at nine. We have to go nine to 11. Yeah, because I'd like to. I have a jury summary sheet of the history of jury nullification that goes it goes all the way up to the Vietnam War. Talk to you later. Thanks for the call, Thanks, Frank. All right, we actually we, on Patriots Lament on the blog we have a pretty good historical thing, if you will. Um, at least how it started. It doesn't go up to the Vietnam War. I think I started, I stopped in uh, with Adams, John Adams, but because that was my point. My my original thing with the Patriots Lament was to look at what founders said, the people the founders looked at to get the ideas that they had. So I kind of stopped so there. So once you again, know, you're advocating people reading and yeah. getting these dangerous ideas in their head, Josh. Um, we, I guess we need to videotape it all so people can just watch it. Well, uh, even be easier. even then, I mean, the, 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 the whole idea of, of putting out these dangerous ideas, that's what makes people dangerous. It's ideas more than anything else. It's, uh, you know, you look at the real opposition, the people who have the most violence perpetrated on them. It's not because they go out and they take something from somebody else. It's because they go out there and they advance these radical ideas like freedom. Yeah, I think Dave's pretty dangerous. <laughs> well, the radical idea of keeping your own money in your pocket. The radical idea of if you own more than one property, you shouldn't be That's punished twice, threefold, fourfold. Just because you have the privilege of <clears throat> owning a cabin, you should be punished for it. Yeah, in oh. in uh, Russia, the historians were rounded up because you were supposed to turn in any history books uh, that were b- before the revolution, and a lot of historians didn't, so they were singled out. Did you know that China doesn't have a property tax, the commies, yeah. unless you own more than one property? I believe, isn't that yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your secondary property. Your secondary property gets taxed, but yeah. your property that you own that is yours to live in, to raise your family, to produce your wealth. Yep. Uh, not PatriotsLament.blogspot.com is the website. If you want to, you know, we don't have two hours, but if you want to continue the discussion, go there and comment on some of our posts. Action point for this week? <laughs> <laughs> Read something. It, it, uh... <laughs>